is free will an illusion? Is destiny uncertain? Or is the universe's future already on a set path? Perhaps the thought experiment known as Laplace's demon can give some insight. Every day, our lives are made up of a series of choices. Everything that you do is in some way a decision. And every person makes their own set of decisions based on the events that lay ahead of them and the lives they have lived before. This is called free will, the capability of every individual to make his or her own choices and govern their own actions. This makes the world a complicated network of decision making from billions of different people and makes the future hard to predict and sometimes completely uncertain. But is this truly the case? The concept of destiny is found in many different cultures, religions, and media of all kinds. The idea of destiny is that some individual or group is on a path that leads to something, and whatever that may be, will ultimately be their fate. If someone were to truly have a destiny, that would mean their fate would be fixated regardless of the actions they took. This leads to a hypothetical paradox that has been seen many times in different kinds of sci-fi entertainment. One character learns from the sort of prophecy that they have a fate or destiny that they wish to avoid, so they feverishly take every action to avoid this that they can. However, in doing so, they actually ensure that the prophecy they are trying to escape plays out. This leads to many questions that seem to be unanswerable. Wouldn't the fate of this character never have come to pass if they just hadn't heard the prophecy? If that was the case, then how did the prophecy ever even begin? The only logical explanation for this would be that the character's fate is inescapable, and that no matter what he did, eventually, everything would play out accordingly. This makes any action totally in vain. However, it is also poses a continuity problem. If fate is fixated, but different paths can be taken to get to it, that means some things are certain and some things are malleable, which doesn't really follow one logical pattern for reality. This is what I like to call the destiny paradox, the problems that arise with knowing with certainty the future. But the real question we want to answer is whether or not the future is fixed or uncertain. In an attempt to explore this, Pierre-Simon Laplace proposed a thought experiment that has become known as Laplace's Demon. Essentially, this is what he said. We may regard the present state of the universe as the effect of its past and the cause of its future. An intellect which at a certain moment would know all forces that set nature in motion, and all positions of all items of which nature is composed, if this intellect were also vast enough to submit these data to analysis, it would embrace in a single formula the movements of the greatest bodies of the universe and those of the tiniest atom. For such an intellect, nothing would be uncertain, and the future just like the past would be present before its eyes. It is worth saying that Laplace never specifically called this being a demon, but over the years, Laplace's demon is the name that has stuck. What this thought experiment illustrates is an omniscient being, an intellect that knows everything that has ever happened and everything that will happen. Free will gets called into question by the future being known. Think about it. If all of your actions are known for certain by some other being, are you really in control or are you just some cog in a great universal machine? This merges into the theory of determinism. Determinism is a philosophical view where all events are determined completely by previously existing causes. This theory makes cause and effect the only chain of events to the universe, and that every choice made by sentient beings are simply reactions to what has gone before. This is in direct opposition to the Copenhagen interpretation of reality, which we talked about in my in Schrodinger's Cat video, which suggests that nothing can be determined until observed. Additionally, chaos theory is proposed in opposition to determinism, which describes how a deterministic system can nonetheless exhibit behavior that is impossible to predict, as in the butterfly effect, minor variations between the starting conditions of two systems that can result in major differences. However, it is not necessarily accurate to apply principles of chaos theory to Laplace's demon. This is because this thought experiment is illustrating a being with unlimited knowledge of everything. Chaos theory seems to be applicable if there are any unknowns, but to this being, there are no unknown variables whatsoever. 
This being literally knows everything that has happened, is currently happening, and that will ever happen in the universe. This pretty much neutralizes chaos theory and the Copenhagen interpretation, as this is both a sentience that is observing everything and eliminates all unknowns. So what would this say about free will? Tomorrow you will make a series of choices as you do every day. Many will come up without your forethought, meaning you will react to them in the moment. Some will be a simple yes or no decision, a 50-50 from a probability perspective. Some will contain far more options that will lead to many and many more decisions. To you, most of these decisions are yet undecided. To you, you have control over tomorrow's destiny because you have a conscious and a free will to make your own decisions. But if something has already seen your future and knows the choices that you will make beyond a shadow of a doubt, isn't the future already predetermined? After all, it can be observed, doesn't that mean it's set in stone? Does this mean that free will is just an illusion? We feel like we are making our own decisions, but are we really only marching along the endless string of cause and effect that comprises the universe? Ultimately, it does not matter whether or not determinism or chaos theory is the accurate interpretation of the universe. We as individuals make our own decisions regardless of whether or not it is part of some inescapable construct of destiny. But if you do come across an omniscient being that transcends space and time, please be sure to give it a shout out for Playmaster.